The liberals believe in little R rights granted by the state, not by God. This is where the NRA audience differs. Our right to self-protection, to keep ourselves alive, to protect ourselves, our kids, our sons, our daughters, our wives, our mothers and fathers, is a right granted by God, not granted by the state. It's only protected by those documents by the state. It's not granted there. So when liberals believe in little R rights by the state and discretionary rights grant, there's no emergency break at all. What's stopping them? Oh, you know what? The state says, you know, state power is good and state and sanctioned violence is good. So I'm just going to beat the crap out of you and steal your sign. We win. I mean, there's no emergency break in their behavior. That's the problem here. Yeah. And, and I think when it comes to gun rights, exactly what you say is true. The, the left simply will not acknowledge that gun ownership and the right to protect yourself and, and as you say, secure your own freedom and safety is a God-given right. They don't acknowledge that. They don't acknowledge that the Second Amendment is actually spelled out in the Constitution, that it is a right for us to protect themselves. That's why they go against it. If they acknowledge that it's a constitutional right handed down by our Creator, well, then they don't have an argument, and that's why they flip their you-know-what. Yeah, I mean, they see the state as the, the ultimate grantor of rights, and that's not the way it was designed. By the way, the idea of owning a weapon, whether it be a firearm or anything else, it, you know, to defend yourself, Grant, w historically has never been even remotely controversial at all. It only became controversial with the advent of really Marxist ideology and the growing power of the state. And think about it. To enhance the growing power of the state, what's the only way to do that? It's to get people on an umbilical cord to the state where you rely on the state for everything, including your protection. So, you know, I, I totally understand that they are absolutely accurate when our NRA members and Second Amendment supporters tweet me and write to me and they say this was about combating tyranny. And yes, you're not incorrect. The founding fathers obviously had been subjected to tyranny from King George. The Second Amendment had its roots in that. But I believe as well that the left attacks it, Grant, because they don't want people to be able to protect themselves. They want you to be attached to that umbilical cord of the state, even in areas of the country where the police could be a half an hour away. They need you to need them. That's the best way to say it. And, and that's their argument against firearms. That's, Dan, it's, it's nonsensical, but that's it, what they want. It goes in everything that they do. Why do you think that they put underprivileged people in, into boxes and make them beholden to federal programs because they're not empowered when they rely on the state or the federal government to provide for them? Same thing goes with gun ownership. They're not empowered if they don't have guns. The left hates empowered people because then they can't make the decisions for them. 